Sometimes you feel stuck whenever you are in a particular career, right? Generally, my videos are revolve around the software testing, right? So I can understand sometimes you feel stuck whenever you are doing, right? You, if you are a manual tester or if you are already a automation tester who's doing some automation, right? But in your software testing career, right? You will feel I am doing the same thing again and again, right? What is the extra thing that I can do? What are the things I can do so that I can improve myself, right? What are the different things I can do so that I can get a high salary, better opportunity, right? I just want to remove myself from this stuck nature, right? Whatever happened to me, right? This has happened multiple times with me, to be honest, right? Throughout my 10 or 11 years experience, I've seen multiple time where I'm stuck. I'm clueless what to do. I am totally, totally blank. I'm doing a job. I have no clue why I'm doing this on Saturday. I'm working. Why I'm working on Saturday, right? I am basically doing this project, right? Why I'm doing this, right? What is the core in this case, right? So if you are the same person, this video is for you. This is going to be a very straight video. I'm going to give you like how I have overcome these kind of problems, right? And I generally give you a few tips that can be helpful for you if you are right now at a same position. All right, so let's get started. Before we start, guys, 70% of you are basically not subscribing to the channel and not liking it, but you're watching the video. Please make sure it's a very humble request from my side. If you're liking these kind of content where I'm sharing my personal stories related to software testing and world, how you can improve yourself and become a high paying software tester and with the test automation and software testing, right? Then please subscribe and hit like. Okay, so first of all, you need to understand the problem, right? Whenever you feel stuck, the core thing that I have identified is that you don't don't have something called as goals. Let me tell you very important thing. When I was in an MNC, right? I was working in an MNC for almost one and a half years. I was doing some manual stuff and right. I understand there was a repetitive task. I understand that whatever the task I'm doing, it can be done in two hours, but I have to do the same task for nine hours just to showcase so that client can pay us because we are billable resources, right? So that client can pay us the money, right? That's what we were doing in the, that case, right? I know it's a non-productive work at the time, right? So how, what I have done. So I have noticed very, very important thing is that I don't have the goals, right? After that job, right? I had a goal. Okay. I want to become a high paying software engineer, right? This is one of the goals that I have basically added, right? The first goal, which basically comes into my life was I want to get a high salary two or 3.1 lakh where I'm starting in an MNC multinational company doesn't help. I'm talking about lakhs per annum at the time. Okay. I think it doesn't help for me. This is what I have done. So if you are already a tester who's not doing automation or API testing, I would request to start learning API testing next step will be start moving toward automation. If you are doing automation, learn about the DevOps stuff, right? If you are good at DevOps stuff, then learn about the programming more, right? If you are good, then learn about the things. For example, you can help your team become QA lead, QA manager, right? Think about the next step. This is what you need to do. This is the exactly thing that right now I'm doing. For example, suppose right now I'm a QA manager, right? Almost where I am targeting. Okay. How I can become a director of quality. This is what I'm basically targeting. So think about the next step. This is what you need to do. Okay. Now, second important point, guys, don't stop the learning. You have to learn new things. If whenever you feel stuck, right? The most important thing that you need to do is this, which is learning a new skill right now. If you see, right, I'm learning, for example, I'm exploring GitLab. We, we recently switched to Git to GitLab, right? So basically I think we were using a bit bucket at the time, right? We switched to GitLab, right? So GitLab is basically more dev DevSec related platform, right? It provides more CI CD as compared to the normal bit bucket that we had right so i'm exploring i'm learning so adding new skill to your resume will definitely definitely help you in your next companies okay so make sure you are keep on adding the new skills right i know you will not be 100 percent uh in that skill but at least you should know and you can implement the new things okay so when i was in a wingify right i was in a wingify i added git related thing because i learned about the git protocol right at the time then i started adding okay uh i know git or github i started using right then i learned about the GitHub actions and similar things, which are basically I have learned like three or four years back. Now the same learnings which are helping me in the GitLab because same CI CD pipelines are basically added, same Docker containers that we have basically done. So other things and also third important point, which is networking guys, networking is one of the important thing that I have learned in past two years, which basically amazing. You have to do it networking, right? Let me tell you very important scenario, right? When I was started creating videos, right? I was in a touch with a couple of YouTube creators 
desserts right uh, those are doing amazing right i had a discussion i basically got to know about the other people i network with other people how they are growing their youtube channel right uh, i basically contacted with lab babar anuj bhaiya shubham right there are multiple multiple youtubers were there right nishan chahar was also there right if i remember these are coding related mostly right i am talking about apart from this we met financial youtuber also right so the close minded people not only that when i was into rtp i, I think bangalore rtp i have attended and delhi rtp also attended it is basically a event which is done by the navin uh, mukesh and sanjay right all of our good friends of mine right they generally do this network event right where i have attended like i think five times they have done it two times i have attended again the point here is i network with people i love to network with people how they are doing it how they are improving right it's a collaboration and you will basically know the power of networking when you really really need it okay i remember i have given this example librarian helped me to get a job right a very high paying job almost i have doubled my package by connecting with a simple librarian not only that in the last three companies right i still remember i am a very good friend with the hrs they had right if somebody needs a referral right they generally tell me promote do you have a good referral please send it across like your pro- file right so i sent it across for few of my students and also in this case another important point which i have think uh, when i was feeling stuck right i think certification you can take see it is all about learning i know many people will say sir istqb scam right or you don't have to take certification it doesn't matter if what you can do is you can add these skills i would suggest you to add these skills and forget about it i think if they are helping you that's good if they are not helping you that's fine right it doesn't mean it's a good or bad right again couple of other points which i think most important point i would like to highlight if you are a person who has 7 years experience plus right i would request you to please start mentoring we need a uh, mentors in the software testing industry guys please start mentoring the people educate them on linkedin educate them through blogs educate them through youtube not everyone can create a youtube channel i understand but you can create a github repos which can be helpful i remember sanjay when he started the crow path right after that it was moved to selector hub right i was there then he basically thought about a problem and so he started implementing so you can be the same person who can basically create tools and right? you can do multiple things you can create a simple youtube videos to explain a normal concept right for example it can be how to push a simple code to a github repo right this can be you can create i think mentoring 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 this is now Now, if you have five to seven years experience, now it's time for you to start giving to something to the community. Trust me, it helps. It will remove your boredom. You will not feel stuck in your career. Last important point: if you are giving mentorship, you should take mentorship also, right? Make sure there are people in your life. They don't have to be into your domain, but it can be. For example, suppose I follow Sandeep Maheshwari, Tony Robbins, right? And whenever I talk about the business growth, right? Whatever the business I try to run or whatever it is, I follow Rahul Bhatnagar sir and so. but nagar right they are very close to me so this is what i have to do right so this will basically remove all the stuckness that you feel in your career also right so make sure you do i hope this video helps i know it is a little long but this is true heart to heart video where if you are stuck in your software testing career especially right what you can do i think this will be helpful right let me know if you feel stuck let me know in the comment what is the reason why you feel stuck what is what is stopping you to basically take your next step right i really want to know let's have a discussion on this okay thanks for watching i hope this helped bye bye